Right, everybody, round of applause! Yay! Things are going smoothly. Tech is beginning over at the other campus, and I am here at SSTI Essentials on our Buford campus. As session two is underway, rocking and rolling. We just had beach day, and we are launching into week two here on this campus. Kids have been doing great. Dance every day. We start with sit-ups and push-ups. They've come to, I think, enjoy that. Um, learning a lot of different combos. We're on the Fosse unit right now, so they're enjoying the weird movements and body positions, I think. Yeah, well, dance takes a long time. It takes years of training. So in this program, there's all different levels. Some have never had a dance class. Some have had a lot of dance classes. So it's trying to instill some basic technique that will help them in their whole musical theater career. And then a lot of the students I find today are perfectionists. So my big thing is perfect is boring. And it's not about being perfect. It's about being in the moment and opening yourself up. I try to meet the student where they are. So many of them are coming in with a lot of experience. Some of them are coming in with introductory experience. So depending on the student, it's the same thing I do with the university, I teach to the students. So a lot of them are preparing their college audition package. Some of them are preparing to go into upper grades in high school. And some of them just want extracurricular performance experience because their, their arts programs in their small towns don't have that. Essentials last year, we decided that we were going to add like a few more classes and Ben was like, what is something you want to teach? And I was like, oh, I'd love to teach improv. We start with like the long form skills and like building the basic tools of like long form improv. So we start very slowly. We slowly start building skills on top of each other. Um, and then they get to do scenes and, and get to perform those scenes and we kind of dissect those and what worked and what didn't. And, all that, and it's very fun. At least I have fun, I hope they have fun. But you see how they kind of, when they, even though they were trying to one up each other, it wasn't like they were negating each other's responses. So even though they were kind of having conflict, their conflict was within the characters, not within the scene partners. That's very important. I liked where it was going, it's good strong characters. All right. It's really hectic during Tech Week to, you know, get everything looking the way it sh should for the show. And especially things like the benches, which had to be in rehearsal every day, and the piano, which had to be in rehearsal every day, and the cube. Um, we couldn't actually see what they looked like all or lit assemble up. them. Or assemble them. <laughs> yeah. So after dinner, I would go to the rehearsal room, steal all the benches, bring them back to the theater, and try our best to, to install all 50 feet of LED tape that go inside them and all the components too. I gotta get my fingers underneath here. So this is, um, I think this is half, half inch? Yeah, half inch um, ooh, plexiglass with a frosted um, contact paper on it. Um, and then inside the benches, so these were welded um, and then just uh, fixed with like plywood and stuff. And then we um, hot glued all of this LED tape down um, on the, the base of the benches to make it glow. And we have a wireless receiver um, for data to control the color and the brightness. And so they can change the colors from the console, make them do effects. So we had to make sure that it would... Nothing would get unplugged. Nothing would get unplugged and it would, it would survive the, the wear and tear. And it, it has through tech, so... Yeah. I'd say one of the biggest challenges that we've had so far, especially with getting everything together, has just been the sheer number of radio mics that we're running on this show. We're running about 35 wireless microphones, which is one of the largest wireless microphone deployments that SSTI has ever done. For me, it was a lot of making sure that I had everything labeled and organized so that when the performers came in for Tech Week, it was easy to teach the tech students as well as the performers our process of getting in and out of the mics. Since I have some really knowledgeable students working with me, I've been able 
able to make sure they know some of the answers to give to the students when they have questions about the mics. And that has been amazing because I haven't had to stress about it. So for the three different tribes, um, they all have very distinct color palettes. So what we're working with was pulling a lot from stock with what we could and then determining from that what we needed to build. And that ended up being a lot of the new Rochelle dresses. And that color palette is all in white with a couple pastels thrown in. I think the Harlem people we used a lot of um, warm tones. There's a lot of uh, like burgundies and some browns and things like that. All of the new Rochelle dresses specifically were actually built from vintage patterns. So they are period accurate, which means the instructions are also period accurate and were very limited. So building these were a really interesting challenge for both of us specifically because it involved a lot of techniques that we don't really use anymore. And so we had to do a lot of experimentation and crafting with new construction techniques that we're not really used to. We knew that they were going to get washed out if we just played with only textural differences. So we had to incorporate a lot of color that specifically followed the silhouette so that you could see the shape of the dress and it didn't just look like a blob on stage. Yeah, I like to see the contrast of like everyone in these white dresses in one section and then there's going to be the colorful section with um, the immigrants and there's like the muted um, earth tones with um, the Harlem people and I want to see like what that looks like because I know they're going to there's a points in the show where they're all in like groups together it's, it's blocked that way so I think that'll be really interesting to see. Mm -hmm. These so. ones were super fun these candles um, we got can prefab candles on Amazon and we ripped them apart and re-soldered them into these PVC housing which is really great um, awesome student project all of the students painted them and did all of the dremeling and the hot glue on them um, as you can see, we have a very large variety of props in the show. All of those suitcases down there were actually in Music Man last session, and they all got painted for that show. Uh, down in that basket is our baby, who is on stage about half of the show, and he came as like a kit, so we had to make him from a kit. And then he's got like some custom-made clothing that um, one of our wardrobe assistants made him, and he's got a costume change during the show, so he's having a great time. It's in the middle of getting its pages reworked right now. And there, it's gonna be these pages, but these were some of the pages it had. So essentially, it'll be able to open and close like that and each page will have a silhouette on it. Um, and then it turns off when you close it. You know, there's not a ton of time for them to go home and be social and um, you know, hang out with each other, which, you know, we want them to get the skills, but also we don't want them to be miserable. So we kind of were trying to figure out a way that maybe they could have one night where they didn't have to go home and just go to their room and practice all the new material they were given. So we started brainstorming like fun little ideas for all of them. This year we decided that we were gonna go take them to get ice cream and, and it was just like a fun little night to step out of the world of musical theater and, you know, be, a high school kid. But yeah, it was just great to see like all the kids getting along and getting to hang out with each other and took like a bunch of pictures um, and just getting to see them all happy. We had a really good time. You see pieces of it, especially Tech Week, you, you really don't see the whole show through. And then you watch it and it works and it's moving and meaningful and it just smacks you in the face. This was a really hard show and very ambitious, but worth it, especially like we just sat there together watching the first act of the second night. And I mean, there are tears in our eyes of relief, of joy, of 
incredible accomplishment and also so proud of everybody in the building. And like, they committed to it and because of it, it's like, it's just next level SSTI from all angles. It's, it's a huge show, it's a huge on-taking, but everyone jumped in and, and we got through it and the payoff in there is like nothing else. And, and turn to Ben and feel the audience and for Ben to say like thumbs up, like we did it. It's, it's hard to say goodbye to it, but yeah. we know that it's in hands we can trust. It was very fun, it was nerve wracking. I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't know what's gonna happen. I was just all in my head, but I think after like the, oh, the pre-show, like, you know, you really just like get on stage and you can enjoy yourself. And I think it's just more about like, you know, let's just tell the story, you know, we've worked so hard and it really paid off. And um, there were a few hiccups, of course, like any other show, but it shows that, you know, there's always room for improvement. It's been really great to be with the orchestra. There's just really great players um, all around. And I've learned so much from just watching them and hearing them play, and it's been great. It's, it's really cool to get sort of a different perspective on the show. Every night I hear something new that one of the players is playing that's really cool and sounds great. And then also, you know, I can only hear the stage sometimes, but what I can hear is ridiculously good. And so it's great to feel like some, even just a small part of that big hole that's so amazing. I thank you for being with us this afternoon for our SSDI Essentials Showcase here on our Buford campus. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see their dance number and all of them perform their monologues and their pieces and everything. And I'm also really excited to meet the parents because I haven't met any of the parents yet. So I think it's going to be great. We got magic to do. cool because I've been with the Essentials program from its beginning. So it's just, it's cool to see the differences between the two sessions and see, you know, the teacher's styles and how that plays out. And both sessions were awesome. It was really, really great. I'm really excited um, with how both of them went and the kids, I mean, oh my goodness, they're, they're cool. They just, it's really awesome to see these students at such a young age be so focused and so passionate. So it's really cool to see these kids come and learn and grow and, and just really shine.